is up guys, Bob's back on the Kingdom of Retro Gaming and today I have gone down a wormhole. If you saw in my last video, I did my mega trade with Alexander. I got a PS2, I got an arcade stick, he pimped out my PSP. But the holy grail for me in that whole trade was the Sega CD2. Hey! You still don't have a Sega CD? What are you waiting for, Nintendo to make one? <laughs> you have seen the games, right? <laughs> Wrong answer, man. Show them! <laughs> Wanna see more? <laughs> And I never had one of those as a kid, so I was super pumped to pick one up off Alexander. And he has sent me down a goddamn wormhole. I've been watching every video to do with Sega CD. I've been looking for games, everything. So here we go. I've gone down the biggest Sega CD wormhole. Let's check out some of the stuff I got. Oh my God. Here is the first proper Sega CD games that I've seen with the actual Sega CD down the side. Um, a lot of the ones you find here in Hong Kong are just the small CD type ones, but I know that these look absolutely amazing. Sewer Shark, that's one of the ones, I don't know if it was the first game that came out, um, but let's take a look at this. Catfish the whole hog. Uh-oh. I'm Renegator, mate! <laughs> The Epic! And then it also comes with Chuck Roll 2, Son of Chuck, and absolute classic Echo the Dolphin. Day 19. I am concerned about the crew. After all, Echo the Dolphin is not just a game, it is an adventure. The graphics are so real, they don't want to go into the sea anymore. 27 levels of danger, mystery, and beauty, all through the eyes of a dolphin. Simply brilliant. Thank goodness, my trusty skipper Pierre has no interest in this new game. Now, the woman has said that there is a little bit of damage on the box of Echo the Dolphin, but yeah, and you see down there, but I'm not too fussed about that. 250 Hong Kong dollars for all three games. Hell yes, let's go. Alrighty, so I'm down here in Hong Kong on my way to Kwai Fong to pick up those three Sega CD games. Oh my God, I'm excited. Literally, I've never had a Sega CD, finally got mine and now super pumped to pick up some games for it. Let's go. Okay, I have made it to Kwai Fong. Um, it's a pretty big station actually, and very empty for this time of day. It's lunchtime, very strange. But I gotta find exit D. Oh, I gotta get cash too. We got some cash. Find exit. Where the fuck is exit D? Aha! Exit D. This way. Let's go. Get us some Sega CD games. Okay. Game secured, baby. Now they look like they're in very, very good condition. Holy fuck. Is that sealed? <laughs> I mean, it's sealed terribly and it's all tatty, but that's a brand new fucking game. It is, it's sealed. And it still has the tag. It still has the hang tag. Oh my god damn. Chuck Roll 2, son of Chuck. Amazing. Echo the Dolphin, that one's a bit cracked on the side, but it's not sealed, but again. Sweet, a classic also. And finally, 
sewer shark. Again, not sealed, but in very, very good nick. Now this is meant to be a super wild game where it comes up with videos and you've got a, it's like live action dance, uh, live action movie and stuff. So you've got to transport vital supplies or whatever. I don't know. Sounds pretty cool. And yeah, there we go. Sewer Shark, three Sega CD games. Let's get home and let's test these out and let's plug in that Sega CD and get it up and running. Whoop, come on. So after I picked up those three games, I've been searching on Carousel again and I stumbled across these two. Now, unfortunately, Revenge of the Ninja is gone, but I messaged the, uh, the person, M2, and it's the same lady who sold me the other three games. So I asked her if she could knock it down from 120 to 100 for the remaining game, Mansions of Hidden Souls. And she said, yep, yeah, no problem. don't know what's going on there with the with the packaging uh i don't know if it's just on the on the artwork or something but uh super gutted i couldn't pick up revenge of the ninja but going to meet this lady again today to pick up mansion of hidden souls let's go sega cd games so i just finished teaching in Moncock again uh, school's broken up now for the christmas holidays but the lady I bought those two Sega CD games off messaged me again and she said, oh, just a heads up, I have another one if you want it. 100 bucks, called like Hidden something or other, I don't know. To be fair, I don't even know what the game is called, but it's another Sega CD game and it's another 100 bucks. That is cheap as balls. So I'm going to pick it up right now from Kwai Fong MTR. Let's go. Kwai Fong, baby. So dead again. Where's my chica? Come and get me some Sega CD games. Where's my lady? Show me what game you've got. Exit D, here we go. There she is. Oh baby, it's sealed again. Again, terrible seal, but brand new sealed Sega CD game. It is the Mansion of Hidden Souls. Sounds very ominous, but hey, that's already three brand new Sega CD games in the collection. And we've only had the Sega CD for like four days. Get in, and two of them are sealed. No, we've got four games now. Four games including this. Epic, so let's get them home, try them out and test out that Sega CD, baby. See what all the fuss is about. Here we go. So, I've got my Sega CD. I've got the four boxed uh, games, CIB, two of them sealed plus the game that uh, Alex threw in with the Sega CD. I actually forgot about that one as well. And now I've just gone on Carousel, and oh my word, I have found some super fucking cool shit. Let's check it out. So basically, over here in Hong Kong and Japan, all the games come like this. They're in the CD, they're not in the big Sega CD case. But I have found some absolutely awesome-looking games. Uh... Oops. Now, we've got a bunch of these Japanese ones here. Ernest Evans. Uh, Detonator. We scroll down. We've got Funky Horror Band. Now, this is pretty cool. It's the Sega Classic Collection, but on the, on the Sega CD. So... I mean, the picture isn't great, but that looks like Golden Axe, uh, Fists of Fury, 
mm, Shinobi or something. Not entirely sure. No idea. Is that Puzzle Bubble? Or whatever. A couple of Game Gear games. Not too fast about those. But that would be pretty cool on the... Oh, what? Damn, that's gone down from 600 to 200. Might have to hit him up. But then... Ooh, we scroll down again. Sliphead. This one looks cool. Is that sealed as well? Or oh, it looks like it... Jaguar XJ220 Play Trailer Start your engines Another cool little Japanese game there. But the real monster that I'm looking at, there's actually two. Oh, why does it keep doing this? There's actually two here. Now, one of them is the Heavy Nova. Boom! Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 2 for the Sega CD. And then this one. There's the one we already bought. Thunderstorm, but here, Lethal and Forces. Now, I did not know that there was a gun for the Sega CD. But this is complete CIB. Look at that. Player one. Complete CIB with the gun. Oh, I mean, that is absolutely B E A beautiful, including the justifier. Now, the problem is, though, it is $750, but it's been posted six months ago, so I'm hoping maybe he can go down or, uh, well, we'll flick him a message and see what he says. And finally, the last one, which I think is just a, a must-have. If we scroll down again, we scroll down again, Lethal Enforcer. Load more. Boom! Jurassic Park for the Sega CD. A must-have for... Well, for me, I'm just a huge Jurassic Park uh, fan. So naturally, I've got to get the game... For every console, I've currently got it for, I've got a CIB for the Super Nintendo. I've got it on the Panasonic 3DO. And I've recently picked it up for the Game Gear as well. And now I'm going to get it for the Sega CD. Jurassic Park, hell yes. Let's go. Alrighty, just got to Kwai Fong Station. And I've just realized, I'm pretty sure the person I'm meeting to pick up the Sega CD uh, Jurassic Park game is the same chick that I picked up um, my other four fucking games. The three, the first ones that I got, as well as the uh, Mansion of Horrors or whatever it's called. Because I'm all in the same station and she's asked me to meet her at exit D. Boom, here we go. So. Let's go get another fucking awesome Sega CD game. Woohoo! Okay, boom. Game acquired. Another fucking Jurassic Park on another console. Sega CD. Cannot fucking wait to try this out. Hell yes, another Jurassic Park game in the collection. Let's go. Okay, team, I'm finally home and I finally got all 
my Sega CD stuff in one place. Let's take a look at the collection so far. So, here we have it. Everything I've collected for the Sega CD so far. Now, obviously, my Mega Drive I've had for a while now. The Sega C Mega CD 2 I got off Alexander for just 200 Hong Kong dollars. An absolute bargain. And again, remember, he threw in the Mega Ever Drive, <coughs> excuse me, the Mega Ever Drive loaded up with all the games on the Sega Mega Drive. And then we know I picked up the first three, which was it? Uh, these three Sewer Shark, Echo the Dolphin, Chuck Roll 2, Son of Chuck, which is still sealed, which is absolutely incredible. I mean, the seals aren't great on these, they're torn and everything. And these are games that I will play, so. You'll probably see a little bit later. I will open these bad boys up. Sewer Shark, Echo the Dolphin, Chuck Roll 2. And then we have Mansion. Oh, there we go. See, I've just torn that a bit as well. So, the seal wasn't great on this one either. But again, Mansion of Hidden Souls. It is a game I will play. The seal again, yeah, see? So, I'll open this bad boy up so we can have a go. But amazing to find sealed Sega CD games, especially in these big cases, because what you do see in Hong Kong most of the time is these ones, this style. So, Starblade, this is the one that Alex actually threw in for me when he sold me the, uh, the Sega CD as well. And as you saw in my last pickup, oh, Jurassic Park. I absolutely love Jurassic Park. Movies, games, clothing, merch, everything to do with Jurassic Park. So when I saw this, I had to get it. And I cannot wait to try this out. And finally, when Alex sold me the CD, Sega CD, and we did the massive trade, he also burnt me a bunch of games. Not all of these are Sega CD, because he did burn me some PS1 and some PS2. But the top few are Sega CD. So what have we got? Star Wars Rebel Assault, Sonic CD, an absolute must-have, Secret of Monkey Island, hell yes, Ooh. Road Avenger, what is that, Rise of the Dragon, Prize Fighter, that's a two-disker, one and Prize Fighter disc one. Night Trap, that's one of the ones kind of like Sewer Shark where it's all the uh, weird uh, actual video as opposed to just a game. Well, that's a two-disker as well, is it? Two-disker there. Earthworm Jim, cannot wait to try that one out. BC Races, that's the one where it's um, kind of like Chuck Roll. Uh, it's super old school caveman racing game. And there we go, Sega Breakers of PS1. So, an absolutely monstrous haul for the Sega CD. With the EverDrive, all the games, we're definitely going to whip this out and check it out. First of all, make sure it works and try some of these games because I cannot wait to play Jurassic Park on the Sega CD. But for now, thank you guys for watching again. I have been Bob's. This is the Kingdom of Retro Gaming, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.